Hello everyone and welcome to a sharp, modern, spacious and a comfortable compact SUV which is this 2024 Honda CR-V. But in a crowded compact SUV segment, does this thing still stand out? So in today's video, we're going to be finding out everything in detail about this CR-V. So the 2024 CR-V is offered in six different variants, LXB, two-wheel drive, LXB all-wheel drive, Sport, then the EXL, EXL Hybrid and the Touring Hybrid variant and the particular model that I'm reviewing is the CRV Sport variant which is actually like a mid kind of variant but it's still pretty loaded in that sense and also an all-wheel drive which is standard so there's no two-wheel drive all-wheel drive option but it's all-wheel drive given with the Sport package so let me begin with the front you get this glossy black grille in the front and the whole front end is much more sleeker that way and much more aligned to the newer honda models the civic in fact the civic hatchback recent review you can click on the pop-up banner out here you can watch that too but if you're going to continue watching this then yes accord crv so all these have the similar front fascia and also nearly identical design sense there's also this chrome strip con continues from one end to the other at the bottom much more curvier roundish bumper and below that honeychrome grille and this normal plastic bumper around that and then you have these real vents on the sides pretty slim ones but yes at first you may think this is not the real vents but it is the real vents and it goes in from here comes out from the back and on the higher level trims there is also a fog light given on this side on on either side actually and then when you come to these headlights these are a full set of led headlight cluster there are also drls on top and this chrome strip actually divides the headlight into two so the top bit is the drl which also converts into the turn signals whereas the bottom one is the main headlight cluster there's also a camera given for all the safety systems because this thing comes with also the adaptive cruise controls and various safety systems for the pedestrian warning for the speed limit so as to show you on the digital drivers display on the sides there are these plastic arches that actually protect your main fender there are also more sharp lines on the fender in the front and also in the back and there are these 18 inch glossy black alloy rims with the honda badging in the center disc brakes and calipers all four and there are these chrome surrounds around these windows and when you come to these side mirrors these are non power foldable but power adjustable side mirrors they have the blind spot warning inside them there's also a turn signal given and these are the body colored side mirrors and the bottom bit is just plastic and on the higher trims you get a 360 degree camera system also there are these black color roof rails which is a part of the sport trim and in the back again these arches that continue with the tail lights that merge onto the side profile there's also a small bit of spoiler given in the back and i love how these arches actually fill in well when you look at this car from the side profile it actually looks quite even you know these wheels sort of fit in here these arches are much more yeah even in that sense there's also a plastic skirting at the bottom and they go all the way to the bottom so when you open the door it actually covers your main frame so that doesn't get dirty and when you come to these doors these are smart keyless entry doors but only the front doors and if you're hearing all the constant beeping that is because i'm yeah pressing that sensor in here but the reason these are called the smart door locks is so if i have the key in my pocket and if i walk away it will automatically lock the car as you hear the beeping so yeah that's one of the features which you get on this sport variant of the crv well the rear also continues to be much more sleeker and much more cleaner in the back so you have these tail lights which is a combination of halogen and led tail light cluster the turn signals and the reversing lights are all in halogen whereas the main brake lights is all in led there's also a wiper rear wiper given in there as i mentioned a spoiler given in the back too and then this crv badging in chrome but the sport badging is in black for some reason i mean yeah i really didn't understand that because could have easily made all the badges black or just made the sport into chrome so it would have looked much more even then there is this plastic bumper given at the bottom so it's just more easier if you have scruffs and everything to just replace it instead of getting it painted and then putting it back on 
and then there are these reflector strips on either side and there are no cutouts specifically for the exhaust because it, they are all hidden in the back of the bumper but there are dual exhaust given on either side and there is also an all-wheel drive sticker given on this thing so you know just to signify that this is an all-wheel drive again something like an all-wheel drive could have been given there too now when it comes to the rear visibility it's actually pretty decent on this crv you get much more broader and wider view from the rear view mirror now when it comes to the boot space just press the button and it's a motorized tail gate and there are scuff plates given in the back so that you don't damage your plastic bumper and when the rear seats are folded up you can put 39.3 cubic feet of luggage in the back there are also rubber carpets given all across in the car even in the passenger side even in the front and even in the boot so that it's just more easier to clean them up you can just remove them and then yeah basically clean them very easily or wash them there's also crv badging in there there are also tying points given in the back too boot lights more hooks so that you can uh, you can hang your shopping bags there are also a 12 volt power socket given in the back too and underneath the boot floor sits a temporary spare wheel given on this crv now the rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 to 40 but in order to fold them they are a bit far away from here so in order to fold them down i have to go in the front open the door and pull the lever and fold down the seats so the rear seats as i mentioned are foldable in a ratio of 60 is to 40 when the rear seats are folded down you can put 76.5 cubic feet of luggage in the back which is absolutely impressive for a small suv i mean genuinely pretty good space and it's much more even also there are just some arches in the back like triangular ones but they don't bother that much in terms of the boot space there's also a bit of a step given in here in the back but this boot floor is adjustable into two levels so you can make it flat also but there will still be some sort of step that will still be there but nonetheless you get a big boot space in order to close the trunk door press the button since it's motorized so it will close the boot door on the crv well a good thing about the modern honda is the fact that it's still very easy to operate once you jump inside the car and everything is just straightforward and ergonomically well placed is what i would say and not like some of the modern day cars where a lot of options are inside the touch screens and buried deep inside or let's say the air conditioning controls which are like touch screen but on honda it's still the button operated and most of the features are still button operated and even when they are inside the screen they are quite straightforward and on this new crv even the dashboard layout is again the the newer version of it which you will find in other honda models too so let me begin with the material quality so you get soft touch material on the dashboard even out here about the driver's display the door cards are soft touch material we're going to be resting hand that's leather cover but in the front there are these buttons and switches which have like normal plastic around them a bit improvement in that side of the plastic but even on the sides it's soft touch at the bottom it's normal plastic with the crv badging on the door cards too then out here in the center console normal plastic then there is this strip of plastic which is meant to look like yeah some diamond shape design on it around that there is also black color piano black plastic and then this mesh grill which is an absolutely best feature on modern day hondas is this honeycomb design grill in black color behind those are the air conditioning vents and you can control them using these joystick such a satisfying clicking sound too and then this same plastic trim with some design on it and the glossy plastic at the bottom of that then these fabric seats so it's a mixture of leather plastic and some good bits in and around here this handrest again is leather covered so it's soft the steering is leather covered but overall yes it's it's a daily usable car which is why the material quality has been kept quite a lot mixed in that sense some areas where it can be improved the plastic quality but overall it's it's a very usable interior is what i would say now when you come to the driver's display there is a 
seven inch digital drivers display given and there is a fixed dial given on the right side so that's the speedometer so your speedometer is always there on the right side whereas on the left side there is a bit of information that you can change on the driver's display there is a scroller dial given on the steering wheel on the left side and a home button so you can go through some of the menu options from that so let me begin with the first option which is range depends which option you keep it then a and b then we go down speed and time again a and b in that two seat bell signs if any warnings maintenance safety support if you don't want to keep any content on the screen brightness then we go inside the settings where you can see driver assist meter setup keyless access setup lighting setup door setup power tailgate maintenance or you can leave it in default go back then we have the gauge display settings you can add more options on your gauge so let's say i want to see the all-wheel drive torque then we'll go back and warnings range fuel and i will see the all-wheel drive torque distribution on my screen too where the power is being distributed to all the four wheels at any point of time so that's the driver's display how you operate and how you change the different things on that screen and in the middle you have digital speed on the top and at the bottom more information temperature your fuel how much is left and driving mode what are you in and also the cruise control if it is active or not that will be shown on your screen too along with the distance and lane keep assist so yeah that's your driver's display but that's what i said it's just very straightforward to operate this car once you get inside now when you come to the steering wheel this is a leather covered round steering wheel with some more sort of shiny bits like chrome at the bottom it's much more shiny silver at the bottom and then button given which is for the heated steering wheel and the button is also given on the steering wheel itself so you don't have to search it anywhere there are buttons given on either side but no paddle shifters or anything anyways it's a cvt so you don't need the paddle shifters for that then the steering is manually adjustable which is the tilt and telescopic find the right position and lock it in now as i said there are buttons given on either side with the honda badging in the middle and on the right side you would find the buttons for the adaptive cruise control to set everything the distance the lane keep assist and everything to switch it on and off set the speed whereas on the left side you would find the buttons for the media controls and also the driver's display and i like how the buttons are also distributed so on one side it's purely for just the cruise control adaptive cruise control whereas on the left side it's all mixed for just the media and the driver's display whereas that also is divided like at the bottom only driver's display and on the top only media control so yeah very straightforward operations of these buttons on the steering wheel too now when you come to the air conditioning straightforward button operated air conditioning system on this new crv so the middle bit on and off press that and then the best bit are these dials hear them out they are just so much more quality like there is nothing loose fit or anything in fact it's much more premium in that sense and you get dual zone air conditioning system on this crv so there are dials given on either side to change the temperature then sync it or you can change the mode where the air flow is the recirculation of air if you want to change that and there are also buttons given on either side for the heated seat so the front seats driver and the passenger is the heated seats and you can even see the controls or the information about the air conditioning on the infotainment screen so if you're on the move and if you are ch changing anything and then if you want to have a quick glance you can see the fan speed the temperature or the mode which where the flow of air is and all of that so that all you can change and see on your infotainment screen on the top bit now when you come to this infotainment screen this is a seven inch infotainment system on this crv whereas the higher models get the nine inch infotainment screen and they have much more bigger on screen options also whereas on this there are buttons given at the bottom there are dials given on both the sides for volume and also the track changer and the screen can be a bit yeah dull that way sometimes and when the sun is directly shining on it it's not gonna reflect a lot of light but overall the screen quality itself can be improved for sure and straightforward menu options given at the bottom track changer then the phone option if your phone is connected 
you can see recent calls contacts keypad then the radio option press it next time then am fm you can switch it to media options where you will find the bluetooth connectivity and the connect options where you will find the android auto and apple carplay which is the wired connection options given on this crv sport variant whereas on the higher variants where you get the nine inch screen you get the wireless connectivity then there is the menu options where you can change the sound settings so you get six speaker music system on this crv sport then the bluetooth settings clock settings smartphone rds display adjustment touch panel sensitivity rear camera settings all of those settings that you can change factory data reset if you want to sell this car and you want to reset the car you can do that too and yeah straightforward while you're on the move this thing is just very easy to operate now when you come to the charging there are two usb ports one type c and one normal along with a 12 volt power socket given in the front whereas for the rear passengers there are no ports given on this port variant of the crv now on this crv there are these slidable sun visors it's gonna come in pretty handy during the summers especially these doors are quite long so yeah that will help you protect from the sun rays there is also a standard sunroof given on this crv when it comes to the storage you can put easily one and a half liter worth of storage in the door cards and some more storage in the back too there is this storage underneath the air conditioning controls where you can put your phones and wallets when your phones are charging you can put them too there are these flexible cup holders two of them given in the front behind that there is another slot to put your key this glove box decently big again on the passenger side in the door cards can put one and a half liter worth of water this big hand rest that comes with this tray you can put it in the front or in the back again to put your keys cards or something and deep enough on the inside where you can easily put four half a liter worth of bottles so it's pretty big and in the rear door cards you can put one liter worth of bottle on both the sides there are also two more cup holders standard ones given in the center armrest there are also buttons given in the center console so those are for the drive mode so you get three different driving modes on this crv the the normal economy and the snow mode because there is an all-wheel drive and we live in a country where for five months there is a bit of snow not a bit quite a bit of snow in some of the places so the snow mode is going to come in handy more buttons for the start stop feature brake hold and the electronic parking brake and then this gear lever which for some reason sits a little far away and a little bit on the outer side like away from the driver sometimes what i find ergonomically yeah so but it's still easier to operate because the height is quite decent matching with the handrest too but yeah sometimes it can be a little bit of a stretch that's the only thing now when you come to the seats on this crv you get fabric seats on the sport variant of this crv model a completely fabric seats the headrest again are squidgy and made out of fabric the back bit also has some of the dashes of leather like stripes but that's about it but majorly it's all fabric and i love the fact that they are fabric because leather gets usually hotter during the summer season but the fabrics they always stay like that is just that yeah they need a little bit of more maintenance also but in terms of the comfort i find the fabric seats better than the leather seats so yeah these seats are quite comfortable they are pretty broad there's decent amount of side support in the back rest and also at the bottom there's decent amount of side support and also my thighs have good amount of support for longer journeys they are quite extended in that sense and when you come to the adjustability of these seats so the driver side seat is eight way electronically adjustable and two way lumbar adjustability whereas the passenger side seat is just manually adjustable so just like the previous generation this generation of the crv continues to offer a lot of space for the rear passengers so starting off with the knee room there is almost a palm worth of knee room and these seats are in my driving position and after that i get this much of space the headroom again is decent someone above six feet will be able to sit in here quite comfortably i would say you can even slide your legs under the seat because there is space underneath the seat to slide during the longer journeys but in terms of the support under my thighs that's where it's lagging a little bit and i'm sure you can make out from the angle but 
not that much where I have seen a lot of other you know compact SUVs where they are more sort of bench type so your legs are literally like hanging but on this you still get that support at the bottom of your thighs and in terms of the comfort in these seats the same level in the front so these seats are the black color fabric seats so the headrest there are three of them all of them in fabric quite squidgy and soft and even the these seats are also pretty soft and squidgy in that sense and during longer journeys they are going to offer you a lot of support and you sit quite deep inside these seats there's not much of side support that way and at the bottom also it's not that much it's more flattish and there's also this middle seat and these seats are not slidable but they are reclinable and the level of reclining is like a lounge in here you can really stretch back obviously when there is nothing put in the boot but there is still even after reclining there is so much of space left in that boot to put a lot of things big bags or whatever but yeah you get this too like the convenience of yeah longer journeys are going to be bearable in this one let me put this back then there is also this hand rest and i like the setup of this hand rest for the fact that there are two cup holders normal ones given in the middle but there is sort of side support on which you can rest your hands while your drinks are also inside this hand rest and there is a bit of a step in here that's the only thing but not too much to hinder the space for the middle passengers and for some reason the middle seat is also quite comfortable on this thing again mainly due to it being fabric but the backrest can be a little bit hard and i get it because there is a hand rest given on this thing but yes it's still quite comfortable compared to many many suvs in the segment in terms of the storage you can put 1 liter worth of bottle in fact you can even slightly squeeze in 1 and 1/2 liter worth of bottle again crv badging given there too the door card quality now it was to normal plastic instead of the squidgy ones but the black plastic with this design trim given there too and where you're going to be resting hands that's leather covered the switches again have just normal plastic there's also a pocket storage given in the passenger side seat and there are two air conditioning vents given in the back too you can control the flow and the direction of air that's about it but no usb ports but there are the air conditioning vents given in the back again quite useful during the summer season but yeah overall the space arrangement in the back of this crv is quite good and especially complemented with these big windows which are quite long that way and they are also pretty tall enough so they give you a lot of visibility all around so this 2024 honda crv sport is powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged dohc vtec engine that produces 190 horsepower and 179 pound foot of torque and this engine is mated to a cvt transmission that sends the power to all the four wheels so it's got the all wheel drive system also so let me first come to the engine and the gearbox and the engine itself is quite ample for city driving i would say but if you want to accelerate it takes a little while because it tries to you know build up that boost from the turbocharger and then send the power but otherwise the cvt is very quiet that way as compared to a lot of other cvts so it's quite smooth in that sense but the overall as i said inside the city it's decent and it's quite smooth so you won't have much problems in that sense even on the highways that way once you are up to the speed then this thing is fairly smooth in terms of the power delivery now when it comes to the efficiency from this engine so on longer runs i've managed to get around 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers whereas inside the city i've been able to get around 9.2 to 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers which is again pretty respectable for the car this size and with the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine so it's doing well on that front in terms of the efficiency and honda engines are always you know very efficient in that sense although for a higher trims like uh, the exl and the uh, the touring variants you get a 2 liter engine turbocharged engine which is clubbed to the motor so that's a hybrid setup on that thing now when it come to the suspensions 
again they are quite compliant for everyday usage they have decent amount of softness to it club with the seats it's very comfortable and it's also very stable in that case there is slight amount of roll i wouldn't say that isn't but yes the way the suspension controls that yeah that's very good the damping on this thing is actually very impressive the chassis itself on which this thing is is just very capable the chassis itself has a lot of capabilities and it soaks up the bumps very well now when it comes to the steering wheel there is an electronic steering and it's fairly progressive so at lower speeds it's quite light and at higher speeds it becomes a little firmer and that is what you need especially at higher speeds when you're driving on the highways because yeah you want more feedback from the steering wheel and it also gives feedback at lower speeds also and you know exactly what the steering is doing which is pretty hard for an electronic steering to be calibrated but yes honda has gotten that right in that sense even for other cars also their electronic steerings are pretty yeah accurate and precise in that sense now when it come to the brakes there are four disc brakes on this crv the braking performance is all right although the brake pedal has a little bit of travel at first where not a lot happens and then eventually it starts to brake the car after that so there's a little bit of a travel to that brake pedal and the throttle pedal is drive by wire so you wouldn't guess that and that's why there's a bit of a lag also in the throttle pedal is what i found like half a second to sometimes one second especially if you put it in the economy mode yes there's a bit of a delay in terms of the response from that throttle pedal that's again electronic so that can be calibrated now when you come to the noise and the vibrations uh, there is only certain amount of noise from the tires is what i found there's bit of wind whooshing from these side windows but the front ones the glass is acoustic glass so that basically removes a lot of noise from the front but the yes, side when it's very windy that's when you hear a bit of whooshing from around these windows and as i said a little bit of noise from the tires but also because these tires are 18 inch they offer extra bit of support in terms of the ride quality they improve definitely that they make it very soft and supple in that sense now when it come to the vibrations this is well built so there is not anything rattling on the inside in terms of the safety systems this is handsomely loaded so you get eight airbags eight two for the front driver and the passengers there are side airbags given for the driver and the passengers in the front and also in the back there are also curtain airbags given in the frames and there is also driver and the passenger side knee airbags so there are a lot of airbags given on this crv sport which is still a mid variant but in terms of the safety there's no cut back there's also child iso fix points in both the rear seats there is also a single camera reversing system but the output from that can be improved it's it's because maybe it's to do with the fact that the screen is the 7 inch one which is yeah not that refined and it's a bit grainy which is why the output from the camera is also like that but yeah it kind of struggles a little bit in darker areas and also it's very grainy when you see the output from that so maybe that front can be improved on the higher trims you got a 360 degree camera system which is absolutely brilliant on that which is very smooth and i've tried and tested that one too that that's very smooth on that thing now in terms of the other safety systems there is abs there is blind spot warning system there is lane departure warning lane keep assist adaptive cruise control tire pressure monitoring system the traction control system so all the safety systems even though this is a mid trim i as i said it there are still safety systems that are given on this thing now when it come to the pricing of this crv so the base variant starts from 37200 canadian dollars whereas the mid variant which is this sport trim comes in at 44200 canadian dollars i'm going to put the exact pricing on your screen and the top trim which is the touring hybrid 
comes in at 51,900, so nearly 52,000 Canadian dollars. Again, there'll be a little bit of price differences as you go into different provinces and where you buy from, which dealership, so tax and everything added to that. So this is just a rough figure. Now, this thing is, as I opened up the video, is this still one of the best cars in the segment? Is it enough to beat other guys? Yes, this one is because this car is much more modern. It's good looking. It's much more practical as has always been. It's spacious, very spacious, I would say. It just makes your life easier on a day-to-day -day basis because of the fact that it's just so much more simple to operate. At the same time, it's modern and it does not cut back on any safety systems. And if you are someone that does not want to spend so much, then the base variant, which is a two-wheel drive, that comes in at 37,200 Canadian dollars. That's kind of all right, but if you still want a four wheel drive, then you can offer the all wheel drive in that base variant. And that comes to around 40,000 Canadian dollars. So that, there are multiple options that you have in this lineup. And not just that, if you are someone who wants a completely spec up car, then Touring Hybrid is the one because it's gonna be super efficient going to be super reliable not to forget that hondas are reliable and it's going to be very efficient for daily usage Heck, you can even get like six seven hundred kilometers from a single fill up and even this car will return you like 600 kilometers even though this is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine so overall it's got all the recipe to be a brilliant car for daily usage and for that this thing still deserves to be in one of the top cars in its segment anyways that is pretty much it for this review thank you for watching this video if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and drive safe